back to Dramati YouTube video. Today, I am going to create an Ubuntu 18.04 version of virtual machine on my AWS account. And then I'll be installing Docker so that I can create a container as well as image and hosting my Apache web server on particular port. So to do that, I have to go to my AWS dashboard and click on services inside compute select ec2 and now in instance i will launch my virtual machine to do that i'll select ubuntu server so select and then yes i'll go with the free tire i can even change my subnet but i'll stick with the default subnet and i can add elastic load balancer and select the volume type i don't need one right now so click on add tags value i'll give as docker that will be a name of my instance so type is all traffic source is anywhere so that i can access my instance from anywhere now i have to download a key pair and i will create a key pair in the name of docker then I'll download it. Once download, I can launch my instance. And don't forget to um, keep this key pair in a secure file because that's a key to access your virtual machine. Till my Docker comes to running state, I'll go to putty gem and convert my docker.pem file to docker.ppk file. To do that, select all files, select your Docker pem file and save as private key now yes so i'll save it again as docker which will be converted into ppk and now i can see that my docker is currently running so i, I can copy my public ip address of ipv4 and paste it on putty select ssh and then auth so now i'll select my docker.ppk file open on security alert click on yes I can see my Ubuntu server console. So I will just access it by saying Ubuntu. Then I'll become a root user. And once that, I have to comment apt get update hyphen y. And then now I can install my docker apt get install docker.io space hyphen y so it will install the docker once installed I can see the version information as well as a version of a docker giving a command docker space hyphen v my version is 19.03.06 and docker info will let me know how many container currently has been created or images right now it says zero i had to start my docker before doing anything so i'll say service space docker space start and then docker run space hyphen it so what this will do is it will create an container and i'm going to create a container in the name of trimator on port 9000 and i'm doing that on my ubuntu 18.04 virtual machine you can change the version if you're not using 18.04 I had to exit from my container so that I can see whether my container is running or not. To check my container is running, I had to command docker container ls but to see exactly information about my docker, I'll say docker container ls space hyphen a and now I can see 
that my docker id and rest information i have to start my created docker container so that docker container start i'll copy the first three digits of my docker id that is e4p and now my doc with container id e4b has started to run to check that docker container ls i can do that i have to execute my derivative container so that docker container as a space it space derivative space bin bash so once you do that Now you can update your console again. And now I can install any of the packages. I start with Apache, saying apt-get install Apache two hyphen y. I have to run it. I have to start it saying service space Apache to space restart. Now installs other package like network tools that is my network utility by saying apt get install net tools. Hyphen Y. And I'll copy the IP address and paste on my browser to see whether my Apache web server is running or not. Yes. So my Apache web server is running on port 9000. So now I'll go back and I'll see whether I can stop my derivative. Docker container stop derivative. And once I exit from my container, I can just stop my container by giving docker container stop derivative and then i will check whether it has been stopped or not i can see that it was created five minutes ago and exited 13 seconds ago and now I will again start it, just changing my stop command to start command. Now, yes, so my derivative container has been started. Now I have to create a Docker image by giving Docker commit derivative inside my container that is derivative. I'll create an image in the name of Ash. So now I'll check my docker image by giving docker image space ls. So I can see that ash has been created. So this is how you can create a container image and host your Apache web server on docker. Thank you. I believe this video was helpful. If yes, please like this video as well as share and subscribe for more.